Hello everyone! Welcome to this video on getting started with Bold BI Embedded Edition. In this video tutorial, we will discuss what Bold BI Embedded Edition is, how to register and download the setup for the Bold BI server, how to install and deploy the download setup for the Bold BI server, how to start up and configure the Bold BI server, and how to embed a dashboard inside an HTML page. Bold BI Embedded Edition is a business intelligence dashboard solution launched by SyncFusion for embedding dashboards into your applications. Let's look at the major features of Bold BI. Bold BI Embedded Edition comes with powerful customization features that make it easy to embed BI and analytics into your own applications. You have complete control over every aspect of the embedding. You can white label Bold BI with your organization's identity and redistribute Bold BI in your way. Bold BI Embedded Edition provides a complete JavaScript SDK that makes our analytics platform appear as an integral part of your application. Bold BI can be integrated into your application seamlessly. The Bold BI server can be installed anywhere. You can install it inside your data center or inside your cloud environment. Whether it's AWS, Azure, or GCE, government and embedded specific cloud offerings are also supported. Using Bold BI Embedded Edition, you can connect to more than 100 data sources. To learn more about the supported data sources list, go to the Bold BI website and click Explore Embedded BI. Navigate to the menu called Integrations. There, you will see a list of supported data sources, including the most common SQL and web-based data sources. Bold BI Embedded Edition also lets you combine with existing REST API sources to create new data sources. For example, you could combine data from Salesforce with data from SQL Server and Jira. Data sources can be published in a secure manner and shared with other users or groups. Shared data sources are an important aspect of data collaboration. And Bold BI makes it easy for your team to work together and share resources. Embedded BI can be used to derive and publish AI-powered metrics using data and also to visualize the predicted results projected using past data without coding. Refresh data from original sources. With simple configuration, you can ensure that your data is always up to date. Any team member can securely access data sources and build a dashboard using simple drag and drop designer. You can easily share your dashboards, collaborate with other stakeholders, and keep them in the loop with real-time alerts about pending notifications via email and also at the application level. Bold BI Embedded Edition lets you create customized schedules to share dashboards with stakeholders in a variety of formats and updates that can run for a specific number of times based on the schedules you set. Embedded BI also provides support to utilize more than 25 widgets, including bar charts, line charts, funnel charts, maps, heat maps, and grids. Your users can view dashboards on any platform, including Windows, Linux, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and Chrome OS. Bold BI is supported by many devices, including tablets and phones. You can easily export dashboards to a variety of common image formats, PDF, and Excel, and then share them with those who may not have access to the dashboards. You can secure embedded dashboard access with single sign-on integration with most directory systems, such as Active Directory and Office 365 for authentication and authorization. So far, we have looked at the major features available in Bold BI Embedded Edition. Now, let's look at the dashboard demos. Embedded BI provides various dashboard examples with live demos under the Solutions menu in the Bold BI site for, for industry, department, and data analytics domains. For example, I choose cells under the department domain by clicking View Demo. Now, the dashboard examples provided for sales department are visible. Upon clicking Learn More, the metrics description used for the sales performance dashboard becomes visible. Clicking View Dashboard allows you to interact with the sales performance dashboard. This doesn't require registration for Bold BI. Similarly, you can check more dashboard examples available under the Solutions menu. Next, the features and benefits of Bold BI Embedded Edition can be viewed under the Features menu. 
Using the integration menu, check the list of data connections supported in Embedded BI, as explored earlier. Under the Resources menu, find Detailed Getting Started Documents, a user guide, the feedback portal to log features and bugs, the release history, tutorial videos, blog posts, and white papers. By clicking Contact Us in the Company menu, you can submit your questions if you don't have an account. We have looked at the dashboard examples and other resources available to get started with Bold BI Embedded Edition. Now, let's see how to register and download the setup for Bold BI Server. To start embedding Bold BI dashboards, I first register for Bold BI. To do that, I navigate to the pricing menu and click Start Your Trial. This will redirect to the registration page. Now, I fill in the credentials and accept the terms and conditions. Finally, I click Submit. Once the email address is verified, I'll be redirected to the Bold BI Accounts page. Here, you can download the setup for Bold BI Embedded Edition. You can also download the sample code to embed your dashboard into an ASP.NET Core application here. Click Download to get the Bold BI server. The setup has been downloaded locally. Before installing it, have a look at the hardware and software requirements in the documentation for deploying Bold BI Server in your environment. You can find the documentation link in this video's description. Next, I start installing the setup by clicking on it. I sign in with my Bold BI credentials to unlock the setup. Then I agree to the terms and conditions and click Next. I choose the portal license as Bold BI Embedded Standard here. If you have only one subscription under your account, then this setup will not be displayed. Now click Next. Then the Install Setting Configuration option will be shown. Here, I change the installation location and web server type for deployment. Embedded BI supports two types of web servers for deployment, Microsoft IIS Express and Microsoft IIS. Either web server type can be chosen, and if required, the port number or site name can be modified and then the Bold BI server deployed. We recommend Microsoft IIS for production environment and Microsoft IIS Express for testing and evaluation purposes, I choose Microsoft IIS Express now. By default, additional settings such as Create Start Menu Group and Create Desktop Shortcut are enabled. You can disable these settings if you don't need them and click Next. Then, I give consent to use the third-party library, PhantomJS. This tool is used to take screenshots of the dashboard. Without this tool, some features of the dashboard will not work. After I read the terms and conditions, I click Next. Now, I need to give my consent to install a few additional client libraries. I read the license terms of each library and choose the ones I need. There is an option to skip this process and do it later at the location listed on the page found in the Client Library Installer file. Using this, I can install the client libraries when needed. You can also refer to the documentation to do this. I have put the link in the video description. Now, I click Install. After installation is successful, I click Launch Application to launch the Bold BI server in the default browser. Now, Installation and deployment of the server is completed. Next, let's see how to start and configure the Bold BI server. The Bold BI application requires a database location to store the user's profile details and resources, that is dashboards, permission details, data extracted for specific connections, and multi-tenant site information. This is called application startup, and it helps configure storage options and admin account setup. To configure the Bold BI Embedded Server, I click Proceed to Setup. Now, the site will navigate to the Bold BI Server configuration page. I can choose the server type from either Microsoft SQL Server 
or PostgreSQL, and Azure PostgreSQL, or Amazon Aurora, with PostgreSQL, to store the site details. To connect with a PostgreSQL database, I need to install PostgreSQL Client Library while installing Bold BI Embedded Edition. I choose the Microsoft SQL Server. I provide the credentials and the database name where Bold BI will store the user's profile details and multi-tenant site details. Credentials given to connect to the SQL Server instance must have permission to create dashboards, create tables, and etc. You can refer to the documentation for more information about the permission requirements. I've included the link in this video's description. You can create a new database if you want, or you can choose an existing database from the server. Also, you can enable SSL for securing data transfers between Bold BI and your SQL server. Click Next to proceed. Now, the website will redirect to create an admin account for the Bold BI server. I enter a name, an email address, and set the password for the admin account. While creating a new user account, a new system administrator group will also be created. By default, the system administrator group has permissions to create dashboards, data sources, and so on. To learn more about the default permissions that we provide, check out the documentation linked in this video's description. After confirming the password, I click Next. Let's move to the next database configuration. As I said earlier, database credentials are required to store dashboards, users, and their permissions. I provide the credentials and click Next. Again, I need to configure the data store, which acts as an intermediate database. Here, imported data from web data sources and statistic files are stored. It also stores the data offline to help users access the dashboards quickly. This configuration is optional and can be skipped by enabling the I wish to configure the data store later option. By default, this option will be enabled. After installation, I can check the site settings page to configure the data store if skipped. Finally, I click Next. Now, the necessary information to get started with Embedded BI has been provided. You can also learn how to configure application startup and the required permissions to configure database connections in our documentation. You can find the documentation link in this video's description. There are two options, Manage Your Sites and Go to Dashboards. Manage Your Sites allows you to manage permissions for the sites created. Go to Dashboards allows you to create, edit, and update the dashboards and contains more options. I select the Go to Dashboards option. Finally, the application is configured and we're ready to embed the dashboard into the HTML application. Let me add a sample dashboard by clicking Explore. Now, Let's see how to embed Northwind Trader Sales Analysis dashboard in the HTML application. I have created an empty HTML application. We'll add the required scripts in the head tag. Next, in the body tag, we need to create the div element with an ID attribution. I have used dashboard container as the attribute name. I'm going to create a bold BI instance inside the JavaScript function named render dashboard and declare it inside the onload event of the body tag to embed the dashboard into the HTML application. Let me explain the render dashboard function definition to create bold BI instance. Here, I have set the root URL in site identifier, which is the bold BI server URL. You can get the dashboard ID from the published dashboards URL from the Bold BI server. Next, set an ID attribute name for embed container ID, which is the ID attribute declared already in the HTML body div tag as dashboard container. Embed type represents the JavaScript component embedding model. Set the environment as enterprise or cloud and enter the authorization server URL. You need to implement an authorization endpoint in your application. This will act as the bridge between your application and the Bold BI server. You also need to update the security details like email and group-based access for, for validating the embedded application. 
Next, I'm going to create a Web API service for authorization endpoints implementation using an ASP.NET MVC application. Let me create an empty ASP.NET MVC project with an MVC template. Now I create the Embed Properties class under Models to set the required properties. I add the username and embed secret of the BoldBI server. You can get the embed secret by clicking Settings in the left navigation bar and clicking the Embed tab. You can set the embed secret here and paste it into the application. Next, I'm going to create a controller called Web API Controller and add code for the authorization server to authorize this application using the Bold BI server. I add code for the authorization server in the Web API controller by sending an email and embedding the signature in the Bold BI server to validate the embed details. Let me run the project. Now, Web API service is running properly. Copy the URL and paste it in the HTML code inside the Bold BI instance. Now let me add the style for HTML and launch the HTML application in the browser. Now the dashboard has been successfully embedded in the HTML application using Bold BI. I will include the documentation link with the code that I have used for this demo in the video's description. In this video, we have seen how to register and download the setup for Embedded BI, install and deploy the download setup, as well as how to start and configure the Bold BI server and embedded sample dashboard in an HTML application. To download the latest version of Bold BI server and add more applications based on your embedded needs, from the Bold BI site, click the profile icon here. It will redirect you to the accounts page. Here, you can manage your account download sample code, and request a custom sample. Please leave a comment for this video if you need any clarifications or if there are any additional features you would like to see in Bold BI. Thanks for watching.